Wash your face. Don't sleep with makeup. Sleep seven to eight hours consistently, ideally before 10 p.m. And then drink lots of water, eat healthy, and don't stress. I'm going to put a cross next to every single one that I currently don't do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm bad. So today we are going to achieve the glass skin look via skincare. Yay! And I have literally reviewed so many videos. So many videos. Ding, 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 ding. It should be showing up here. Okay. And I have collated all of those YouTubers and what they've said and I've tried to come up with my own version of this routine um, and so yeah I'm gonna run you through it now so first of all before we begin I need to tell you that I'm going to be either doing this for two to three weeks depending on how fast it works for me uh, I'm thinking it'll probably take me at least a month but we'll see how it goes and so you just need to stay tuned with my channel okay everyone so I am going to run you through the products that you need to use for this glass skin look so first of all is cleanser so obviously you know me I don't really use a lot of makeup so usually I don't have to do this step but I'll show you the product for it anyways so first of all I will use the Shu Umira cleanser and this is really really popular um, very common to use but apparently there have been some controversies regarding minerals in the product which is not so good for your skin but I've got a whole bottle left so I'm just going to finish using it and then after I have removed my makeup what I will do is I'll go in with another cleanser Dr. G cleanser. I've used this for quite a while. Um, I actually don't prefer to use this one. Usually I will use the Intrasuit Clear, which is a, I think American product um, that I get from like my facial clinic. But since I have this one remaining, I will use it. Okay, afterwards we have to go in with an exfoliator. So currently I am still using my Dr. G exfoliator and this is a brightening peeling gel and it is mild so it's pretty good for sensitive skin and basically the exfoliator will really help like take off the dead skin cells so that you can basically renew your skin and then after exfoliator something that is very um, I think unique and something that I don't really do that often is toner. Currently I am using the Skin Lab K plus red x toner so you can see here that i am running out of it there's only this much left but don't worry because i have the lift toner um in my cupboard over there that i will be swapping out um halfway through the process so for this you will need to do um about two two parts of toner so i've seen people do use it almost like four times where they firstly use it to rub like rub off any like extra layer of dirt and then next they like soak it in and then thirdly they soak it in even more and then fourthly they soak it in even more and so that is like really intense so I'm just going to be cutting it down to about two times so I'm just going to wipe off the dead skin cells and also wipe off all of like the dirt and then afterwards I'm just going to soak it in next is water essence so this has been my go-to i understand like water essence it sounds so dumb but <laughs> i will use this if you guys you will know you will probably know this so if you're a female it's the avene water and it's just thermal spring water people in korea will use ones which are like taken from like deep in the ocean and also they'll use ones which are like with rose water and whatever but i really prefer this thermal spring water that I've used for so long now. I have this one, I also have the small bottle. And if you go to the pharmacy, you can buy it two for one. So, what a deal. Next, after spraying on that water essence, we want to go in with a serum. With the serum, I am changing today to something different. So today, I went and bought the Cossar X Snail essence which will serve as my serum as well after going in with the serum i will be using some face masks two to three 
times a week. So I've got a few face masks that I want to show you just because I am going to be swapping out my face mask according to how my skin is reacting. So first of all with the face mask I've got four different types. So first of all this is I've got a face mask from Rotorua <laughs> ripping New Zealand and for this one the thing that I love about it is that it actually dries so quickly. So with like mud masks and clay masks, you got to keep in mind that you don't want those freaking lines to like appear because that is going to create wrinkles and that is not what you want. So as soon as you notice that it's going to be like it's going to dry, you need to wash it off straight away. And to top that one off, I always pair it with the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vitamin C Boosting Face Mask. So this one is very, very good because it like literally lifts up your face. Your face will look like it's so much healthier, so much more glowier, and it's 10 out of 10 wonderful. And this is really great for after you've just had like a clay mask that has taken out all the impurities. So this one, the next one is um, more of like a deeper cleansing face mask. And this is the Sukin Detoxifying Clay Mask, which I have used for like a while now. So the good thing about this one is that it is all natural which I really appreciate because that is just means that it's going to be very good for my skin. The next other one that I will use and this is when I need something that is a clay mask that will detoxify my face but also still be quite um, moisturizing for my face and this is my Skin Lab pink clay mask and this one is really good for removing um, blackheads as well as whiteheads and last but not least this is my super super moisturizing and also very very quick face mask so these are some sheet masks and they're from Japan so these are the EGF face rescue mask EX and these are so popular in Japan not even like lying like they sell out so quick me and my mum went to Japan we literally bought five of these five packs each has 40 which is such a deal I'm still using it and I've I went to Japan like la like last year no oh beginning of this year EGF is a epidermal growth factor and sorry, that's such a long name, I had to read it from my computer. But EGF is so good because it just helps you restore your face and your skin. So it helps you regrow a lot of your skin cells and things like that. Which is really good for when you're aging because when you're aging you lack collagen. It's harder for your skin to regenerate. So this is really good for when you need that moisture factor and when you need to just like basically help your skin like trickle along and have its growth spurt. Next up is eye cream. So I have been really loving this eye cream which is the AHC Ultimate Real Eye Cream for Face. This has been really popular yet again. All of these products you can probably buy from High Coco, which I am such a fan of. Not even ashamed of that plug. And then we'll go into the cream. Currently, this cream is honestly like so moisturizing. So I actually have combination skill skin, which is why I really need like something that's moisturizing yet not going to like cause breakouts. So this one has been my favorite. I've used it probably for about two years now. And this is honestly such like an expensive buy. I would not recommend anyone who's like a normal student to even buy this product because this is really, 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 really expensive. And this is the La Prairie um, Ice Crystal Cream. And yes, this is my go-to night cream right now just because it's so, so moisturizing. In terms of the daytime routine, it's just going to be a little bit simpler just because like obviously there's not so much that you need to do. So first of all, you just need to go in with a cleanser, toner, mist. We're up to the eye cream. I will be going in with my Aquel number four. And then last of all, of course, you need to go through and do your daytime sunscreen, which is just the Neutrogena one. That is the end of my skincare routine for the next month or two weeks, depending on how long it takes me to get my glass skin. But yeah, if you notice my skin, there are a few things that I want to achieve in the next like two to three weeks.
First of all, if you notice here, I have a lot of redness and this is from like basically me doing a lot of um, brow waxing. So I have actually stopped brow waxing because of the fact that I keep on getting breakouts and it's just really red here. So I want to not have any redness and hopefully not any breakouts here. In terms of like my face, my nose is usually pretty fine, but it's very dry here. So I want to increase the moisture here. I want to have a bit more of a glow and like less pigmentation and like redness on my cheeks and just honestly a glow in general so yeah um hopefully i can achieve this within two to three weeks see you later hopefully it works out and stay tuned so please like comment and subscribe see you later